I'm going to show you two cases of Nautilus assistance calling. This is a new device, like we, uh, the, my colleague mentioned, it's a Nitino wire, which is temperature uh, created. Uh, and it has this memory when it goes for uh, above 37, 6, 7 degrees, it becomes stiffer. Mm -hmm. So if you place it right at the, at the level of the neck, it's very nice protection for you. Okay. So it's inside the neck, yes. it's like a web, but you don't preload the patient, you don't need uh, to do antiplated therapy. And it's a little bit stiffer if you're too slow. Mm -hmm. Maybe the temperature becomes very fast, uh, creates very fast uh, stiff device. But if you place it right at the, at the neck, it's very nice protection during calling. Okay. We have uh, like first in human experience in our department. We already have like 30 cases. Mm -hmm. If we could manage to deliver it easily, the yeah. procedure after that is a piece of cake. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So you can see it here. It's a very wide neck MC aneurysm. This is the working projection on the left. Uh, it was not rupture one, so the patient here was loaded. If uh, we are not able to place the Nautilus correctly, we are going to proceed with uh, stent assisting coiling. Yeah. So we are here, here left the whole navigation. Sometimes to see the beauty of the biplane. Uh, the colleagues who works in this neural intervention know sometimes the anatomy looks nice, easy, and you have trouble to get whatever you want. So it's like saying, never say these aneurysms look e easy. <laughs> yeah. You're going to jinx it. So this is the navigation by Dr. Sirokov. Mm -hmm. We are going most of the time with 014 micro catheters, uh, micro guide wires, sorry. Our most usable one is Portal from Phoenix. Uh, we use a lot of Traxxas 014 yes. and we really like this Asahi guide wires. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. The Asahi Chikai, Asahi Black, they're, they're perfect. I also quite like the Synchro from its durability. Um, that, um, but the the portal is, is like a Gemini of the Synchro, Yes. Mm -hmm. but here is a little bit cheaper, so it's our workhorse. We start with yep. it, if we have some problems, we change to the others. I do the same. <laughs> so it's like Synchro 2, it's yep. completely like Synchro 2. So here is the delivery of the micro uh, I think it's uh, SL10, with which uh, the Nautilus goes through 017. It's like a coil, if you, like 20 degrees. It's like a soft coil. When it touch something hot, if you put it in a hot water, it becomes discus, this pre-shaped memory mm -hmm. form. So in our experience, after a bunch of cases, like a 10 cases, I started to oversize it. I don't like the sh discus shape. I prefer to be like an um, ellipse shape. So it's better coverage of the neck inside if you can think like a 3D dimensional uh, image, it's better to have not just discus at the level of the neck, because sometimes one of the, one of the policies of discus could place inside your parent vessel you want to protect. So here is the delivery of the, of the Nautilus. Like I told you, the first half is very easily to deploy, and the second half is becoming stiffer and stiffer. Maybe the temperature is already working with its, uh, its properties. So here, Alex is delivered completely. Mm -hmm. Here is the tough point. It's starting to get rigid to deliver it completely. So it's almost, almost out of the micro cutter. And you see it's discus shape when it's go out. Yes. So you place it at the level of the neck to get a good protection. We pull the whole system and verify that we are, we are protecting the both branches we want to protect. Now it's, it's going to be a little bit like a uh, eclipse. Uh, I, I don't know how it's in English. It's, 
It's not flat disc. You have some yes. curve, so it's better for protection of the neck. Eclipse, yeah. <laughs> so now we, the, the second tricky part is to go through the center. If you go through the center, it's the best. Because if your coiling catheter is through the center, every coil is pushing the device near to the neck and seal it there. So it's very stable. If you go just through some of the struts, your movement of the coiling microcatheter is limited, so sometimes you cannot proceed for very aggressive, very good coil pack density. Mm -hmm. So here he managed to go through. And you did have quite some time before it came stiff, so it does give you some time. It's when they showed us to yes. you uh, outside, mm -hmm. when, you, when it touch 40 degrees water, it becomes discus. Yes. So that's why we think so. after we halfly delivered it, it starts to become rigid. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So maybe they will upgrade it in the future. So this is the coiling microcatheter going through the center of the device. And I think the first coil is coming. No. Yes, we have some misdirection between the camera and the coils. So you see how good it will uh, hold the coils at the position. It's like the big conos, big conos of films. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's something like that, this uh, vocational stand. But there you have a stand body inside the, in this case, in MCA. So you have to put the patient on double antiplated for at least six months and leave it for mono one year additionally. So for the rupture cases, for elective cases, I think it's very elegant. Maybe beneficial compared to the web device we have to, to experience, uh, you have to be very good at sizing of the web. We have limited experience of web uh, below around 10 pieces. And the other difficulty for web in Bulgaria that you don't have the sizes with you available. Sometimes you have a procedure. Maybe you think you have the, the right size, but if, if, if you have to order it, you have to wait some time to be here. Mm -hmm. So this is the control angel after the first coil. You can see the stagnation inside. This discus is creating like throw diversion effect inside the sac. It's very rigid. That's why it's also like stiff. And the other very good future, uh, feature, in our opinion, the recognition rate, for now, at least it's zero. We think there is some additional epitalization because it's yes. very, very close discus. So it's okay. very easily to epitalize. It, it's just a theory. Yes. We don't mm -hmm. know yet. Because but it's not coil. Yeah, because interestingly, with just coils, yeah, there is the not with stent, be... there is with the web, there has been some reported, so it could very well be, yeah. If With the position alone, of the discus is good, maybe mm -hmm. the epitalization is very fast, maybe. Yeah. I say maybe because we have limited uh, patients. It's uh, very good. Uh, here we detach it. After the first coil, we, it's already stable. We detach the discus. It's like a coil. Uh, you, it's a mechanically detached. And we continue to coil until we like the coil pack density or it's not able to deliver additional coil inside. But it's very nice when you put it just the device, mm -hmm. you can do a run, you can see stagnation inside the quarters like you put a flow diverter inside the, uh, in front of the aneurysm neck. So we leave here some additional coiling. It's very hard to replace the micro cut. Sometimes in other situation, we have to go in another portion of the aneurysm to code another portion if you left something. Here is extremely difficult. It's very hard. You cannot go again. That's why at the beginning I said if you if you're in the center at the beginning, it's the best. Mm -hmm. If you puncture mm -hmm. the center of the device. <laughs> and here you can be very aggressive. See how the, the tension inside the microcatheter it jumps all the time. You cannot move it. The nautilus is there. The idea is very good. Maybe if they Upgrade it for an easier delivery because if you have a smaller neck, a smaller aneurysm to deliver it inside, sometimes it's scary because after the first portion, it's starting to push the aneurysm. And you're a little bit scared, you go a little bit outside to deliver the device and try to put it again inside. It's maybe not the best uh, maneuvers you can do. 
It looks like sizing is very similar to when we started with the web. We were undersizing all of them at the beginning. And then, of course, there's the danger of creating a dog's ear at the side. An organization, and, but yeah. Because one wants to be careful at the beginning and we're automatically chosen. Uh, so I think it's probably very similar that here yeah. the sizing is important to not get the dog's ear on the side. Looks like a very promising device, how it's holding it. The engineer yeah. asked me why you all the time oversize it. It doesn't look like a discus. I say I don't want. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just want to be prefer to be stable. Yeah. Because in their opinion, if it's discus and you seal it, but sometimes we see it when it's in discus near to the branches you want to protect. Sometimes the discus could be like this. And when and it's oversized, you have the stability to be a little bit inside the sack, so yes. it doesn't move at all. So very good pack density, and you can see the final result with both MCA branches protected. I think the whole procedure was mm -hmm. done. You see a small portion of the aneurysm, which was not filled with coals, but there is a stagnation like a flow diversion effect. We have also control here with no recognition of this aneurysm. Done by, I think, completely by Dr. Sirokov. So that was the one recorded case I wanted to show. Is there any questions about it? It's just like so, a dem sorry. Is the device freely available? You've done the first um, in man studies with this device. Yes, they already have CE mark now. Okay. So mm -hmm. maybe they will start some postclinical follow studies and follow ups. Is it the Israeli company? Yes, and yes. the stream. Uh, okay, yeah. And the mm -hmm. stream yeah. company. So it's just a demonstration of a new device which we mm -hmm. recently gained some experience with. Uh, so please, the next case is the same. Additional on Altios case. <clears throat> it was one of the first structure cases. And we could use everything. Balloon assisted coiling, common edge assisted coiling. So it's a big rupture PCOM on the right side. There is a small, small one on the left side. Uh, the patient was in a relatively good condition, only on, with ophthalmoplegy. Mm -hmm. So we decided to put this Nautilus. We already know about the effect and to coil loose. And in the end, you see there is not a lot of coils inside, yes. but there is completely no contrast no uh, going in. And the neck to dome ratio is a lot, lot better than the other cases. But also the patient, uh, I think, was, did not recover fully for the ophthalmoplegy, but partially. Yeah. The interesting thing is when the aneurysm um, has a thrombosis, it still gets smaller. So you'd think yes. that, yes, there's filling, but very often it's reversing or even disappearing, the ophthalmoplegia. So yeah, it resolves. Important. Most of the yeah, time yeah. it resolves. Mm -hmm. So again, here is the navigation. We have a biplane system. Here, I think we use some 90 degrees microcatheter. I'm not sure it was my, uh, maybe headway 19 degrees okay. uh, for delivering the Nautilus. You see it again at the beginning. We choose a bigger aneurysm, so we have to have enough space to deploy the device here, and we can be. What sizes does it come in? From four to seven. Okay. So they are going, I, I, I told them, you have to go until 10, at least yes. until 10 millimeters, because we have eight and a half millimeters aneurysm made by seven millimeters device. Yes. But it was played with, with the course and with the device, and it was complete discus. Mm -hmm. And they told us, uh, for now, for the C-mark, we apply only for, from four to eight. Four to eight, okay. That will That's be available okay. sizes at the beginning. So this is the entrance of the aneurysm. See the operators are speaking something with their heads, hands. This is on our older angel biplane machine. We have an older GE and the newest Azurum system from Philips. So the image quality is not so good, but it's still the biplane. It, it's, it's 17 years old GE, so it's good. So the micro catheters is inside the aneurysm. You can see the tip. We remove the guide wire and we are preparing for delivering the Nautilus device. It's coming typically like a coil. 
and it's very soft at the beginning. There is two millimeters atraumatic uh, tip soft, which they told us made around 50 rabbits, aneurysms, small, big ones, without rupturing it. Mm. So here it comes out, and half of the device, when it's halfly deployed, you see the microcatheter will start to be pushed out. You see? Yeah. Here we have to do some tension of the microcatheter. Still very difficult to deliver after the first half. Now, if it's, the aneurysm is smaller, you have a concern. Where is the limit of tension you can apply? Exactly. One would be concerned of pushing when you have to push a lot because there's no space. Yes. Yeah. That's why we choose with the bigger yes. aneurysm at the beginning. So the, the device is completely delivered outside the microcatheter. Now we pull the whole system and to apply it, to apply it at the neck. So you can see, I prefer this shape. Mm -hmm. Not quite a discus. I see the contrast inside. Uh, this case is not mm, really representative, but we have cases at where we see the contrast staying there without moving in. Mm -hmm. So this is going cross the center of the device. But even at this stage, there's already some stasis. There's already less. Not as visible as in the other, but um, Like it, I mentioned, already we have there. more representative case in yeah. which is... Uh, it is like uh, you put two flow diverters in front of it, uh, mm -hmm. uh, in a satellite way. So now that just the wire is through the device. So see when we push the microcatheter going through the device. It's already very stiff. Yep. So the wire is here, in, but the guide wire is still not. So we are pushing the guide wire to go in. You see how we move the device because the tension is too big. So in a small aneurysm, it, it's that dangerous. Would be the, yeah. It's dangerous to do it. And then they asked me, the engineers, what do you prefer, stability or is it delivery? I said, it should be a balance. You have to think about it and listen to the physicians which are using it. Maybe there will be two generations in the future, soft version and maybe yeah. more rigid version. Depends yeah. on what you prefer. I'm just thinking of the rescue. If it did rupture in a smaller aneurysm, I suppose you could still put in coils as quickly as possible, but it, this would be a big rupture, not just one. So, mm -hmm. That's why we chose this case, I think, yeah. to show that the device is still rigid at this version. You see how it jumps when you push it a lot? So here we go, not, we go through the center, but not in the mainstream of the device and through some of the loops. Mm -hmm. It's also very nice for coiling, but uh, if you have to, like I mentioned before, you have to change the portion of the, of the aneurysm, it's very hard to go through inside. Okay. But that's the idea. If you, if you seal the neck and it epithelies, the chance of recognition should be very low. And now we start to coil. <laughs> they ask me, also the engineers of the company, how many coils you think you spare with this device? I said, not too much. Yeah, the neck is okay, but it's a small coil. If you have to count how, ma how many coils we spare, I don't think it's too much. Because one of their well, advantages, they want to be, oh, we reduce the coil number Halfly or something like and that. And here you would feel much safer taking a longer coil initially rather than two small ones. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably one argument one could give them, but if you really save a lot. Not the volume which yeah. the device taken, but... From the volume, no, exactly. It's just and the best advantage, we didn't see any recognition rate yet. Mm -hmm. So we do it only in rupture cases. We have just two elective cases. Yes. But the the... Uh, in my mind, maybe the theory there is no, when we put the patient on hypertension after the first days, uh, we do a, uh, artificial hypertension, maybe the normal cause are going in to the pulsating of the yeah. blood pressure. And this is very stable, it cannot move. But so it epitalizes. That's exactly it. So we know that in aneurysms over one centimeter, we basically always have coil compaction. Yeah. yeah because um, even if we see it filled like that, it is maximum like 30%. Um, even if it looks 
completely occluded. It's not 100% occluded because of the space. So this may avoid the coil compaction. So it'll be really interesting. That's what we saw uh, Alex show in the presentation. We have a giant aneurysm, symptomatic mm -hmm. one. Yeah. And we do staging above 20 millimeters. So at the first stage, we go as much as possible. Yes. In one month, we put a flow diverter yes. to spare the big thrombosis portion. And here we put an altius mm -hmm. and relatively loose packing. And there is no recognition in one month. Yes. And it's not just the coil compaction. It is usually at the top of the aneurysm as the dome. There's the thrombus. Yeah. Um, sometimes there's not even the elastica, the membrane around it. It's already dissolved in the aneurysm. The giant aneurysms are only held by the thrombus together from bleeding. So the coils would be pushed into the thrombus. So this should be avoided. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, if, I think it sounds... Uh, do you see I'm getting excited about the device? I like it. Uh, <laughs> and if you have the idea is good. Like mm -hmm. I said, they have to think about the deliverability. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because at the beginning, it was scary how, how yeah. it was pushed. I have to say, I would be reluctant still in a small aneurysm, because if it does rupture, the whole aneurysm dome yeah. will be gone. It's not like a small perforation that we have with a coil, where you can then we coil it quickly. We put one device, yes. 4 by 4 millimeter SACOM. We put 4 millimeters device inside, yes. and it will see enough. I didn't go through. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the, it yeah. wasn't the typical shape. It yes. was like a coil. Okay. And I detached and leave it. I, we didn't put additional coils inside. Leave it at that. Mm -hmm. And okay. we don't have the follow-up of this patient, but I think we'd be, it will be gone. Yeah. Could be. I was okay. scared to go through. And I, I would have been as well, because if that ruptures, that's it. <laughs> uh, but uh, if you see the images, there is no mm -hmm. contrast inside, but it's like very loose, just one coil inside yeah. the sac on the native, and when you, when you do a run, there is no mm -hmm. contrast inside. I probably missed it before, but you also would not need dual antiplatelet, or what is recommended here. You can do it um, in an acutely no, ruptured animal. No, it's intrasacral. Inter exactly, so, so you would... Mm -hmm. And like I told uh, with the other devices, Comaneci and Cascade, uh, when we have a new device in our department, I start only in rupture cases. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So most of the time we have only heparin. So like I told you, this uh, loose packing, we were not very aggressive. Here is the device is still attached. You see, the Nautilus mm -hmm. it didn't detach. It's here. Mm -hmm. And this is the micro cutter for, for the coiling. We have uh, one complication with the device I have to share with you. Mm -hmm. uh, one Nautilus didn't detach till the end. And in the end, it was not possible to detach. And we remove it. And we were very scared if there is yes. any movement of the course, but maybe we were lucky. Is it possibly to mechanically force it to detach by twi turning, turning, turning? We tried several times. We tried tips and tricks from the engineers. It was not possible. Okay. So loose coiling with good stagnation inside. Uh, I'm not sure did we put the control, but it was completely gone with uh, partially resolved of the of thermoplegy. But the protection of the neck is very nice. You have to be aggressive as nice. much as, as you want. And how does it appear in MR imaging? Um, I does don't know it yet. It's, mm -hmm. you know, we start in May. So yes. the first follow-up, we do an angio. The okay. second follow-up of the patient, in one year, we do an MR. So okay. maybe in one year, we can show is there in difference compared to the other calls. But it's neat, you know, it should be the yes, same. Yes, it should work. I still remember when EV3 brought out the Axiom coil and it looked like a nice coil and then we suddenly had artifacts in the yeah. MR, which I'm so, that'll be good. So that nice. was the second case Very nice. I wanted to show if there is any question raising from the audience. So these are all aneurysms which are super tricky to treat. So these are not the easy aneurysms, what are shown here. So really congratulations how you're doing that. Thank you. In our field, I think the device is developing, developing continuously. Mm -hmm. And maybe reducing the percentage of recognition. Exactly. Maybe. Exactly. We will see in the future. I think that it's a, it's a very promising thing. Also, congratulate you because from uh, our point of view, the resurgence, MCA has always been easier to clip rather than the endovascular tubercles or double stenting or 
whatever procedure you use, and say it's not going to be easy in the last procedure. It's always more complicated than ever. Thanks for the comment. We have, you know, a strong unit of neurosurgery. And they say the same for the last two years. They have like two clipped aneurysms with very big hematomas. We need it to be clipped. So they say maybe this is the future. Uh, we are not glad to admit it, but we are going to the point maybe we are, we are not needed. And I disagree because we already always need this teamwork for evacuation, for drainage, for everything. Mm -hmm. One more question. If there yeah. was a recanalization, would you be able, so for example, the, the fear of if on the side something came, you did get a dog's ear that went to the dome, you could go through it a second time? Inside? Inside? Probably, Should work. Yes. That's what I'm thinking, because that is, would be the big difference to the web, where basically once you've deployed the web and there is, you've lost because you can't really get yeah. on the side of it. It probably mm -hmm. we could go in, but... I won't. Maybe in the recognition, yes. I will put the flow diverter. I'm just wondering, in theory, if it would be possible to go it back in. Mm -hmm. it yeah, be. yeah. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So. Mm -hmm.